Hey there, you're watching the Mobave vlog, your go-to go -to channel for creating cool videos. And today we're going to show you how to make a glitch effect. effect. Finally, the latest version of the Mavavi Video Editor 2020 features glitch effects. Do you want to know how we created our video example? Then hold on a minute and be patient, because we're going to spill our secrets. But first, let me bring up some good news. Our wonderful Black Friday sale is coming tomorrow. This year, the best Mavavi deals up to 70% off, by the way, are offered through bundles. To learn more, check out the description below, where I've left all the details. But there is one deal I simply cannot resist telling you about right now, guys. This is the Video Suite and Christmas Effects Bundle. For just $59.95, you can get the Video Editor, Media Files Converter, Screen Recorder and Christmas Effects Pack for your holiday videos. But the only way to access this awesome deal is to follow the secret link in the description. Hurry up, because our Black Friday deal is only available until the 3rd of December. If you don't want to miss the upcoming deal and challenges, hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell as well. All right, now let's go back to the glitches. If it doesn't make any sense so far, let me just say that glitch art is a whole genre in modern art. Various digital interference, glitches, noise, and other manifestations of dysfunctional attack are the main tool there. Different sorts of glitches are commonly used in music videos, TV series, and ads. There is even a whole music style for it. It seems like this trick is less popular in movies, though. I couldn't recall even a single example on the spot. If you seem to know any, drop us a comment. Wherever glitch effects are applied, it seems like they are frequently associated with some kind of new technologies, virtual reality, and techno apocalypse. And sure, it'll be a perfect match for a cover of an electronic music album. You're not going to believe it, but glitches of various kinds even have their own names. They can also be divided into true, those emerging accidentally, and artificial, those simulated on purpose. And now we're gonna tell you how to use the tricks from our video example using Mavava Video Editor. First of all, we are going to consider the easiest way to add a glitch effect. Then we'll work out how to add a glitch transition. Next, we'll sort out all the tricks with the portraits from our video example. And finally, we'll talk about the time stutter effect, pixelization and tile effects. For example, we filmed ourselves one after another in a monotonous background. In this case, it's important to keep the same size of the frame and the position of the people in the frame. Let's fire up Mavava Video Editor and upload our video into the media bin. The easiest way to add a glitch effect into your video is to pick a suitable filter from the built-in filters and apply it to your video clip. To apply the effect only to part of the video, detach the fragment you need with the help of the split tool. Hey there, you're watching the Mavava vlog. A more difficult trick is a glitch transition. Cut off small fragments of the videos, each lasting 0.1, 0.2 seconds, at the end of the first one and at the beginning of the following one, and add a filter to both of them. In the settings, you can adjust the effect intensity. You're watching the Mobave vlog, your go-to channel for creating Let's deal with more advanced transitions now, using the first block of the video with our portraits as an example. I created three new video tracks and placed the videos on separate tracks. This way, it'll be more comfortable to edit them. Then I synchronized them with the sound and edited them so that we take turns saying the phrase your go-to channel for creating cool videos in pairs. Watching the Mobave vlog, your go-to go -to channel for creating cool, cool videos. Now let's add some effects. Let's deactivate the third and the fourth video tracks. I want Roman to show up with the flicker effect and have it accompanied by white noise. Let's cut the video clip with me at the point where the video clip with Roman starts and add the static high filter to both the clips. Next, let's cut out and remove small parts of the video with Roman from the beginning of the clip. To make the transition smoother, let's reduce the opacity of the remaining parts. That's how we'll achieve the flicker effect. Vlavi vlog, a go to channel for creating. Another trick is appearing with the split screen. Let's now activate the third video track. Let's begin with adding the static high filter. 
we're going to split three pieces at the beginning of the video clip, each one lasting 0.1 second. For the first fragment, let's go for the clip properties – overlay and pick side-by-side -side top. For the second one, let's apply side-by-side -side bottom. And for the third one, let's go for side-by-side -side left. Now, in addition to the static effects, we also have an interesting change of frames. Yeah, go, go to, to channel, channel for creating cool and the last transition in this block is RGB splitting. Let's activate the force video track. Now we'll split the video with our cameraman Valera at the point of the beginning of the video with our YouTube channel manager Dasha. Let's add the broken lens filter to both of the videos. For creating cool videos. Now the transition looks pretty rough. Let's cut off a small part at the beginning of the video with Dasha and reduce its opacity. Also, let's cut off the end of the video with Dasha and remove its filters to make our eyes rest from all this madness just a little bit. For creating cool videos. Now the transition looks smoother. Lovely. One more popular glitch trick is the time stutter effect. It is quite easy to perform. I want Dasha to hang a bit while she's pronouncing the VI letters in the word videos. Videos, videos. I'm going to find that part in the video. It's easy to rely on the waveform. I'm going to cut out that part, copy it and paste a few copies of it one after another. Cool videos. Done! There are just two more tricks left – pixelization and the tiles effects. Let's start with pixelization. We first need to proceed to the first video track, as the transitions only work there. Here is a little life hack – to kill the editor's lingering desire to glue together all the video clips on the main video track, just add a black background and extend it as much as you need. Let's move Roman back to the timeline and cut out the wanted fragment. For the transition, we'll need two pieces from each video clip. While holding the control button, let's pick the first and the fourth fragments and add the filter pixels small. For the second and third fragments, let's add the pixels medium filter and reduce the intensity. For each splice, let's add the matrix small blocks transition. Let's increase its length to the maximum level possible. To make it look even more lit, let's add some sound effects. While holding the control button, let's pick the first and the fourth fragments – tools, audio effects, low pitch. And for the second and third ones, very low pitch. And today we are going to show you how to make a glitch effect. Isn't it incredible? And for our last trick, some tile glitches. Let's split the final video clip with Roman into three parts. Let's apply the Pop Art 4 tiles to the second part. And today we are going to show you how to make a glitch effect. It looks nice, but there is something missing. Let's copy the video clip and insert it just next to it. Let's detach its audio track and place it with a small shift relating to the original one. And we're deleting the video track. And today we're going to show you how to make a glitch effect. That's how we ended up with an interesting sound effect. For the final piece, we'll add some frames with Valera and me. Let's select all these three video clips and add the Pop Art 16 tiles and the static high filters. On the second video track, let's go for the clip properties – overlay and pick side-by-side -side right and side-by-side -side bottom on the third video track. That's how we got a mosaic made of three portraits. Let's add the robot audio effect to Roman's voice. Valera is gonna get a low pitch. And let's add echo to my voice. And today we're going to show you how to make a glitch effect. All that's left is to add some music you like and a few static sounds.
Hey there, you're watching the Mobavi vlog, your go-to go -to channel for creating cool videos. And today we are going to show you how to make a glitch effect. Back, back, back. By the way, we made a preview picture for this episode in a very similar manner. Do you want to know how we did it? Then let us know in the comments, and we'll make a whole new episode about it. That's how you can make your videos far more spectacular with the help of such simple tricks. Today we observe the filters which are built in the program. Do you want to know how to step up the game and make more complex and advanced glitch effects? If you do, let us know in the comments. If we get 30 requests, we'll film the second part of this episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell and like the video, of course. See you around!